So here's the scene. You're this mom and pop shop and you want to get rid of these three or four dusty old traditional big clunky servers that are in your server closet and you want to replace them with one shiny new C-series rack mount server. Well, congratulations. Great idea. This Cisco device is going to be built for virtualization and you're going to be able to virtualize all of the applications and operating systems that you were running on those clunky old servers. But wait a minute. You want to make sure that the software that makes this C-series tick is up to snuff. You want to make sure you've got the latest, greatest software for that C-series device. Well, in this micro nugget, we're going to show you where you can find it, and it's called the host upgrade utility for that shiny new C-series. Now, my students often tell me through my social media, and I'll give you those links in a moment, by the way, but they often say, Anthony, just find stuff for me. You're so good at finding stuff. But but come on, you want to learn how to fish at Cisco.com. Yeah, you don't want me to give you the fish. Watch how easy this is. So we need software, right? Let's go up to support, and is there a software download area at cisco.com? There sure is. And what I like to always do is start from the all downloads. Just like when I'm looking for documentation or product, I go to all products. So here we're just going to all downloads. And what you do once the all downloads window comes up is you have this convenient interface that you can use every single time. It's just like surfing documentation. Let me prove that real quick. If I go to products and services to that drop down, uh, rather support, product support, there we go. I choose all products. Look at that. It's that convenient interface. So support all downloads. And what we're going to do in here is we're going to go to servers unified computing. Now, for the host upgrade utility that magically updates the software in your C-Series, we're going to go to the C-Series rack mount server standalone server software. In there, we're going to find our particular model. Let's say I have the C200M2. This is a particular model that we often talk about in our UCS classes here, so I'll choose it. The C200M2. And in here, we're going to see all these options, and sure enough, one of them is server firmware. And this brings us to the UCS host upgrade utility. Now, what exactly does this magic little ISO file give you? What really does it upgrade in your C-Series? Well, it upgrades the Cisco Integrated Management Controller. Wow, is this important. That's obviously your lifeblood for managing this particular C-Series device. It upgrades the BIOS. I think we all know that's pretty important. The LAN on motherboard. The RAID, if it's built into your particular C-Series, and it'll also upgrade that P81E virtual interface card from Cisco. Yeah, that magical network interface card that's so built for virtualization, they renamed it a VIC, a virtual interface card. Yeah, it is just primed and ready to do virtual NICs and virtual host bus adapters for you. Now, you can tell I'm getting excited when I discuss these data center technologies. I'm getting a little bit off track. Let me reel it back in. So this particular host upgrade utility, we're going to go ahead and through the KVM, we're going to mount it as a virtual CD-ROM. And then when we boot to it, we're going to have the ability to upgrade each of these one at a time if we wanted to, or upgrade everything that's in your C-series that's applicable all at once. And Cisco recommends that approach because what they don't want to see happen is that you be at one level of software here, a different level of software here, a different level of software here. So whenever possible, before implementing it in production is obviously a great idea, we update all of the appropriate firmware on that particular device. Now, you might have noticed what was not in those particular lists, right? What wasn't there was the particular 
hard disk software, perhaps, if you have a specialized vendor's hard drive locally mounted in your C-Series. And something else that wasn't there was network interface cards of a different vendor. So I do want to really just plant this in your ear that we might be visiting other vendors' websites than Cisco's in order to acquire the appropriate software for every component in our C-Series device. Now, one final word on the host upgrade utility. After you run it, let's say you selected, hey, upgrade everything I got, go for it. After you run this and reboot, obviously you're going to lose your KVM connections. This is, of course, this is of by design. So let the thing reboot, reinitialize, then you can reestablish your connection and you can do your verifications that this upgrade process has gone without a hitch. If there are any problems with the host upgrade utility, in my experience, you'll be prompted of that as that software is going through its console work and you will see it being installed at your local console. We then lose connectivity for a reboot and then after a time, as I said, reestablish your KVM connectivity. Well, I promised you I would remind you of my social media contacts and I listed these in order of my frequency of checking them. That's right, every single day I'm active on my own blog at ajsnetworking.com. Then there's Facebook, just forward slash CompSolve. There's Twitter, at CompSolve. There's LinkedIn, CompSolve. And then I am frequently posting in the CBT Nuggets area of Google+. Plus. So grab a screen cap of this, reach out to me in social media. I would love to to hear from you. I really hope this micro nugget has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.